Hi, welcome to Spiritual Acceleration. My name is Sarah Ellingworth, and today we're going to do a healing meditation working with the crown chakra. And we're also going to be invoking a connection to Ascended Master Saint Germain and the Violet Flame. So Saint Germain anchors the frequency of the Violet Flame into uh, our dimension here on Earth. And it's a very purifying and cleansing frequency to work with, but it's also the color of divinity, the electric violet or the violet flame uh, with that blinding white light. So we're going to use the frequency of that flame through the crown. It's a very gentle, soothing process, but it's an opportunity for you to release anything within your crown chakra uh, that may be of past life or this life um, that is blocking you or limiting you in any capacity. The crown chakra connects us to the divine, to our higher levels, to our God self. Um, And it's also the chakra where we receive the knowing. So that is the claircognience. So it's helping us to connect into our higher wisdom, our God self, um, for that higher knowing, for for the higher levels of wisdom that can just naturally stream through us. So, yeah, that's what we're working on today. So I hope you enjoy. And throughout the process, I will guide you on what to do and how to show up for yourself. There will be opportunities for you to state out loud what you are commanding of the energy that we're working with. So um, I would recommend you speak that out loud. But if you're not comfortable to do that, you can say it silently. Saying things either silently or out loud, they do have a different um, command internally of your being and externally of your being. So for the purpose of today's meditation, I encourage you to say it out loud if you've got the space and the privacy to do so. But if you don't, that's perfectly okay. You can still say it silently and it will have an impact. It will do what it needs to do, particularly when we are invoking the support of the divine. Um, or the frequency of God, um, it will still show up and help support, heal, change, shift in any way um, that is required for our highest good. And that is our intention for this meditation, for you to receive for your highest good um, and for the highest good of all. So when you're ready, just getting yourself into a place of comfort, and that may be sitting or laying. Just allowing your body to really relax. So just closing your eyes, bringing your awareness to your breath, taking in a long, slow, deep breath in through the nose, gently holding at the top of the breath and releasing out through the mouth, slowly and gently holding at the bottom of the breath and inhaling again through the nose. And you want to be breathing into your belly, so feeling the belly rise on the inhalation and fall on the exhalation. You don't need to over-control the breath at the pause. It's just a very gentle pause and then releasing If you, can, if you can feel your breath still sitting in your chest, if your chest is moving, you're still in that shallow breath space. So it might even help to place your hands on your belly. You want to really feel your belly expand on the inhalation, breathing right into the diaphragm, right into the belly. And then feeling the belly deflate as you exhale all of that air out. So just keep practicing that breath cycle, slow, steady breaths, breathing in through the nose. A very gentle pause and then breathing out through the mouth. Feeling the belly fall. Gentle pause and inhale. Hold and release out through the mouth feeling the belly full. So just continue with that breath cycle. Mm. 
And when you're ready, just bringing your awareness all around you, just feeling into the space all around you, having an awareness of your body and the bed or the chair or the couch, wherever you're laying. Feeling yourself held and supported. And just having a sense of any tightness or tension within your body. And as you exhale, let your body become a little bit heavier. Just letting go a little bit more. Scanning your arms. There may be tightness in your jaw, your neck. Feeling into your head, your back, your stomach. Feeling into your buttocks and your thighs. Just having an awareness of any tightness or tension remaining. And on the exhalation, just breathing that tension out, breathing all tightness out. And feeling your body becoming a little bit more heavier again. Just feeling the weight of your body getting heavier and heavier. And having an awareness of what's around you now within your auric field. Just having a sense of where your aura is. Is it really far out? Has it expanded? Or does it feel quite close to your body? Just having an awareness. And you have the ability to control or move your auric field. And a nice healthy place for our auric field is just beyond if our arms were outstretched. Just visualize or sense your arms outstretched. And your auric field should be just beyond your fingertips. Reaching up above your head, you should sense or feel your auric field, almost like an egg shape above your head, all around you in all directions. And then below you, beneath your feet, about a meter beneath your feet, just feel your auric field. It's just having a sense of that boundary. And even if you can't sense or feel it, just intend that it is there. Your command, your intention will be enough. And then just rest in the knowing. When you're ready, bringing your awareness behind your eyes now. Coming behind your eyes. And we're going to move up into the crown chakra. At the top of the head, just bring your awareness, bring your breath into your crown, taking a long, slow, deep breath into your crown. And again, just having a sense of this chakra. How does it feel? What is your perception? Does it feel open and expansive or does it feel it might be patchy? Can you feel movement or does it feel stagnant or stuck? There's no right or wrong. At this point, you're just observing how it feels in this space. Developing a relationship to your crown. Understanding its parameters and its function. Continue breathing with your awareness into your crown chakra. Slow, deep, steady breaths. 
Feeling the belly rise and fall with your breath. Keeping your awareness in your crown. And as you breathe into your crown, the chakra is becoming brighter. A brilliant white light is growing, becoming more luminous. And you notice there's a very soft tinge of violet. The crown chakra is full of brilliant white light. And all around the outside is a soft violet colour. And with every breath you take, your crown chakra is becoming brighter and stronger. Feeling it grow in size and strength. And when you're ready, taking a long, slow, deep breath into the crown. And on the exhalation, you're going to send a beam of light out through the top of the crown, connecting into the seventh plane of consciousness. And you just need to hold that intention and allow, with your breath exhaling, that light beam to outrun your awareness as it connects into the seventh plane of consciousness. Pure God frequency. You may know it as the omniverse. Just hold the intention that you are connecting into pure God frequency. And as you do that, as the connection is made, just knowing that the connection is there, you may feel a slight pressure or tingling as that divine frequency pours into your crown. Keeping your breath in the crown chakra, you may like to stay with that beam of light. Feeling the beam of light going to grow in size and strength as your awareness and your intention builds this energy, strengthens your connection. Bringing your awareness back into your crown as you breathe into your crown again, this time. You're ex exhaling down through the central column of light within the middle of your being, down into your base chakra at the tailbone or between your legs. It's bringing your awareness down into your base chakra now. And again, just perceive or be aware of what is happening in this space. How does your base chakra feel? Does it feel open and expansive? Does it feel constricted or closed? It might feel bumpy or patchy. There may be parts of it that are shining quite brightly and other parts that feel a bit dull. Again, there is no right or wrong. You are just perceiving or observing the energy, how it presents. Taking a long, slow, deep breath into your base. Keeping your awareness in your base chakra. And with your breath, this center is becoming brighter and stronger. As you further anchor, that divine frequency into your base chakra, activating, strengthening. And within this chakra is the brilliant, blinding white light, and all around the outside is a beautiful, soft red. A nice, healthy, glowing red chakra. And even if you can't see it or feel it or sense it, just know with your intention it is there. 
with your awareness and your intention, your base chakra is becoming brighter, stronger, more robust and dynamic. Feel the strength generating within your base chakra with every breath you take. Taking in a long, slow, deep breath into the base. And when you're ready, breathing out a beam of light down through your legs, through your feet, through your base, anchoring into Mother Earth, moving through her body and connecting into the core of her being. You may like to also send threads of light through your, through the soles of your feet or through your base, connecting into tree roots and crystals. Just allow that movement of energy from Mother, Mother Earth into your base, back and forth with your breath. Using your breath to become more deeply connected and grounded into Mother Earth's body. Feeling that natural extension of your light connecting into Mother Earth's light. Feeling her heart resonance, the beat of her heart pulsating through that beam of light. Breathing up into your base and breathing out into Mother Earth. Just allowing that frequency to become stronger, allowing your connection to grow and strengthen. When you're ready, taking in a long, slow, deep breath into your base. And as you exhale, coming up through that central column of light, coming back into the crown. Breathing into your crown. And you become aware now of your connection to the divine above you and Mother Earth below you. And you perceive or notice that all around you is a tube of brilliant white light. It is a natural extension of the connection that you have created with your breath, your intention. Amplifying your energy and your connection to the divine above you and Mother Earth below you. And at this point, we now call in Ascended Master, Saint Germain, and the Violet Flame. And you notice above you, there's a sprinkling of electric violet light, sparks of light dropping down into your crown. As Saint Germain, ignites the violet flame within your crown chakra. When you perceive or sense or just know there is a beautiful, luminous, crackling violet flame amplifying within your crown. Continue to move through your breath as your breath amplifies and intensifies the flame within your crown. Keeping your awareness in your crown. And Saint Germain is pulling forward any congested energy, any stuck or dense energy being held within your crown, within the root of your crown. Pulling it forward into the violet flame for transmutation and releasing back into neutrality as it pours out 
just feeling that release happen very gently. He starts to spin your crown chakra clockwise, building the energy, making it stronger, intensifying the flame, more intense, more intense, more intense, brighter, brighter, brighter. As this process unfolds, just feeling into that downpour of beautiful divine white light pouring in through your crown, coming through that central column of light, coming through your base, moving through your base, anchoring into Mother Earth and feeling that energy coming back up. And you may have a sense of this energy moving through you up and down simultaneously as the Father Divine and the Mother Earth work, increasing your connection, your sovereign divinity, all levels of your higher self, your God self, anchoring in through the crown now, coming in in through the crown, coming in through the brain, through the pineal, coming through the throat, anchoring into your heart, just taking a long, slow, deep breath into the heart centre now, expanding the light of the heart out. Just breathing through your heart. Activating the heart. As that divine frequency, your divine light, your divinity moves through your being all the way down into your base. Taking a long, slow, deep breath, anchoring all levels of your higher self, your higher being, your God self into your base chakra, feeling the energy of your base expanding, growing, strengthening with the resonance of your true self, your sovereign divinity, anchoring into your base, breaking through, releasing, shattering all limitations for you to know yourself. The deepest levels of your being, anchoring into your base now. Feeling that heart resonance opening up further and further as you receive more of your true self. Coming through the crown, through the heart, anchoring into the base. And allowing that to move through the base, anchoring your light, your sovereign divinity into Mother Earth. Allowing Mother Earth to receive you, allowing yourself to receive more of yourself. Just continue to breathe through this process. You may feel or sense emotions coming forward, just allowing them all to rise and fall through this process. As you surrender into the divine healing, divine love, divine power, Bringing your awareness back into your crown. And as you continue to move through this process, you may have a sense or see or feel the lotus petals of your crown slowly unfurling. Your crown is opening up, expanding. And as the petals unfurl, There's a brilliant, a blinding white light coming out of your crown. 
my sense of feel flecks of gold and electric violet. Just feeling the unfurling of your lotus within the crown, very gently, very slowly, opening up. St. Germain continues to hold that violet flame all around you, within you and all around you. You are held in the safetyness, the protection of the divine light and the divine love and the divine power of your light. When you are ready, you can repeat after me, either silently or aloud. Saint Germain, and all levels of my higher self, I surrender into karmic grace and the purity of my being. that all blockages in my crown chakra, all weapons, fears, belief systems, programming and conditioning to keep me small or closed off, be released and my crown chakra opened and activated through spiritual grace, protection and light, easily, joyfully and gently. I open my crown chakra to the divine connection of my higher self, my God self, and all higher levels of pure love and light that will assist me through my growth, my healing, and my divine path, through loving grace and divine mercy, so be it. And you breathe in the violet light through the crown. Feeling into all contracts, oaths, vows, agreements within the crown, releasing into the violet flame, the blinding white flame of the Holy Spirit. Feeling the light, feeling the warmth of the light. Feeling the expansion of the light pouring through you, anchoring into your pineal. Feeling the resonance of this power, this light, your light, your power, your love. As it's moving through, spiraling down and within that central column of light, anchoring down through the throat into the heart, permeating through the seed of the soul and and releasing all contracts, those vows and agreements, keeping these frequencies of stuck blocked energy lodged within the being, release, release, release. Through karmic grace, release, Release, release 
all entities or dark force interference, preventing the release of these frequencies into the white flame now. Just stay with your breath, breathing into your heart space as you move through this expansion of light within all levels of your being, allowing that light to anchor through that central column of light coming back down into your base, feeling the power of your light, the power of your love, the power of your sovereign divinity coming home into your base chakra, as it continues to move through you, that natural extension of you anchoring your light into Mother Earth, your spiritual essence, your growth, your evolution. And as you do so, Mother Earth continues to evolve, expand, grow. Your light is her light. Your growth is her growth. Feeling all aspects of your being anchoring into Mother Earth, feeling those frequencies connecting into her being. And at this point, just allowing your light, feeling your light expand beyond Mother Earth. You are within her and all around her, feeling your light growing in size and strength. And we're just going to send a blessing out to all of humanity. For all sentient beings occupying Mother Earth at this time, that they may awaken to their divine light, divine love, and divine power. Just holding that frequency of love and delight. For every sentient being occupying this planet at this point, throughout all levels of time and space. And as you do that, I want you to really feel into the power of your light. Feel into the power of your love. That is everything. That is your truth. When you're ready, bringing your awareness back into your heart. Taking a long, slow, deep breath into your heart, feeling into the gratitude. The gratitude of how you have showed up for yourself today. The gratitude of the divine blessings, the divine healing. Gratitude for the space that you've created for yourself today for you to receive and grow. Feeling into the gratitude of your life. Bringing your awareness now back up into your crown chakra. Just paying attention to any difference that you may notice or perceive from when we started. How does your crown chakra feel now? Again, there's no right or wrong here. It's just an observation as you build your relationship to your crown, building your connection and awareness of this aspect of yourself, the universe that exists within your crown chakra. Taking in a long, slow, deep breath in at the crown, 
And as you breathe out, breathing down through your body, through the base, through that beam of light, connecting back into Mother Earth. And as you inhale again, drawing in Mother Earth's vitality, her nourishment, her wisdom, her strength, breathing that light all the way up to the crown. And as you release, sending that energy out like a fountain into your auric field. Taking in another long, slow, deep breath in, breathing in through Mother Earth, through your legs, through your body, all the way up to the crown. And as you release, breathing out through the crown like a fountain into your auric field. Taking in one more slow, deep breath, breathing in Mother Earth's vitality, her strength, her nourishment. And this time, if you like to gift that frequency with divine love and divine light, you can send that energy back to Mother Earth. Feeling her receive the divine light, divine love, divine nourishment and support. When you're ready, wriggling your fingers and toes, bringing your awareness behind your eyes, coming back into your body, back into the room. Just taking your time. It's not a process to rush. Just bringing your awareness back to this present moment. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you've enjoyed that. And this will be here for you to repeat anytime. You can do it as often as you like. There'll be plenty more of these uh, healing meditations to come. So uh, any feedback or comments, um, there'll also be links to the upcoming Intuitive You course, which we have beginning in July. Uh, I think it's July 15th or 16th. It's the Saturday. Um, so we would love to have you there. We will definitely be doing a lot more of these sorts of activities um, and plenty more to develop the intuition and playing with how you like to receive information and how your body processes that. But it's also very much about clearing and sensitizing your body in knowing how you receive information and getting clear in your boundaries for protection. Um, but I hope that you've really resonated with today's meditation, that you've received what you needed for today. You may repeat the meditation tomorrow and have a completely different experience, and that's also very normal. Um, so, yeah, enjoy. Thank you.